to see how some people might share their views. Um, we are not a command and control regulatory agency. Uh, I don't think you find any command and control regulatory agency that would be very functional. Uh, we regulate businesses, small businesses, large businesses. Uh, our actions do have impacts on uh, how people earn their livings. But at the same time, Chapter 1509 and 1501 of the Administrative Code are our marching orders. That, that's what we operate on. Uh, in relation to uh, the people uh, that are issuing the permits or overseeing the wells not living in the area, that's not correct. Uh, Mr. Claus lives right in this area. Mr. Simmons has lived in this area for many, many years. Our inspectors are located regionally where the activity is. They live in the area. Um, so we do have people out in the area. We do have people that understand the area. Philosophically, with the funding, there's two ways to fund an agency, either through general revenue funding or federal funds, or through direct charges to the industry or regulating. This administration and the past administration adopted the philosophy of charging the party who are regulating to fund the programs. Uh, if we issue 500 permits, 1,000 permits in your own year, fine. If we issue 200, fine. It's not our jobs to monitor how many permits we're being issued to issue those permits well. Now, the reason why a lot of permits aren't denied, the regulations are very clear. If they don't follow those regulations, they cannot get a permit. Um, it's rather nonsensical for somebody to read the regulations, give us a permit that we're going to deny, take their money, it's a waste of their time, it's a waste of our time. That's why permits are not denied, because the companies are following the laws. 